Hey, and welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install macOS Catalina in VMware Workstation Pro. There's a few things you're gonna to need to get this done correctly, and I'll provide everything you need, as well as walk you through it all step-by-step. Step. So let's get started. Okay, so before we get started, let's take a look at the system requirements that you're gonna to need to get this installed. So this installation is gonna be done on a Windows 10 PC. So I have Windows 10 and I've installed VMware Workstation 16 Pro. You can use previous versions of Workstation Pro, like version 15, and the process will be fairly similar. If you haven't already installed Workstation Pro and you're looking to do that, you can check out this video and I'll walk you through those steps. Next, you'll need a CPU with four cores or more available. And for RAM, we're gonna to wanna to have at least four gigs of RAM, but that's really pushing it. You definitely wanna have eight or greater for this to run properly. Disk space, we have 80 gigs. Again, for this, you're also gonna to wanna to have as much disk space as possible. I recommend doing anything above 120 gigs. Now for files that you're gonna to require to do this installation correctly, you're gonna need the macOS Catalina ISO file, and you're gonna also need the VMware Unlocker. Both will be linked in the description below, as well as a link to my blog that will walk you through all these steps step-by-step step if you get lost in this video at any point. If you find this video useful, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I'm trying my best to grow this channel as big as I possibly can. So here we are at the Windows 10 desktop. We already have the VMware workstation installed and there it is, the shortcut icon. Now, before we even continue, we have to unlock it to enable the features to allow us to install macOS using VMware Workstation. So you wanna make sure that you download the unlocker file, and I'm gonna put this link in the description as well. It's right over here, and it's uh, on GitHub. So I've already downloaded it, and I have it in my downloads folder. So you wanna have that, and as you can see, I also have the Catalina ISO file downloaded here as well. So the first thing that we wanna do is extract all the files from the unlocker. Okay, extract them all. And inside here, we wanna get the win install CMD file. So you wanna right click on this and we're gonna run it as administrator, say yes to this prompt, and we're just gonna let it go all the way through. Okay, so it's automatically closed itself down, and that means we have unlocked the features for the Mac OS on VMware, so we can continue from here. So the next thing you wanna make sure is that you have your ISO file downloaded. You can see you already have it in here. Now, if you don't already have Mac OS Catalina ISO file downloaded, you can check the link in the description, and it goes to our website, and you can download a file from there. You can also get it from many other places online. We're gonna close out of these windows right now, and also close out of my browser back at the desktop, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up VMware. So I'll double click on that and let it load up. Okay, and as you can see, I'm using VMware Workstation Pro version 16, and we're ready to create a new virtual machine. So I'm gonna click on this, and we'll click on Custom or Advanced, and then click on Next, and click on Next again. And in here, we wanna use the Installer Disk or ISO. We'll click on Browse, and I already have this in my Downloads folder and here it is, I'll select it, and I'll click on Open. Okay, then we can click on Next, and in here we wanna make sure that we're selecting the Mac OS X. Now, if you didn't do the unlocker, you wouldn't have this option available, so we have selected it right now. 10.15 is the version that we're gonna be selecting because we're installing Catalina. Uh, you have other options in here, but this one's gonna be fine. Click on Next. Now, in here you can name your virtual machine whatever name you want, also, the location of where it's being stored, you can customize that as well. I'm gonna leave it as a default and then click on Next. For CPU cores, you can have the number of processors available. I'm gonna leave one. I'm gonna have four cores available. And then I'm gonna click on Next. So by default, four gigabytes is in here uh, for RAM. The minimum that you wanna have for Catalina is eight. I'm gonna go up to 16 because that would be the maximum available right here, as you can see suggested. So I'm gonna click on Next. Now what we wanna do is we wanna make sure that we're selecting as bridge networking so it gets an IP address instantly when it boots, boots up. Okay, so we're gonna be using the default setting here and then click on next. Uh, we'll leave default as well, click on next. We're gonna create a new disk and click on next. And over here it's saying the maximum disk size. So the recommended minimum size that you wanna give is 60. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna give a little bit more uh, and I'll be selecting 80. 
So now that we have that set to 80, you can then just click on next. And if you want to change the location, you can do that, but I'm going to leave everything as default and leave this as default. And now we can click on finish. Okay, so we're back at the home screen. And what we can do is we have everything that's been modified here. We're ready to power up the virtual machine. So you can click on, click on the power on option and we'll just let this load up. It will take a few minutes to get started. Okay, so we're ready to continue. And the first question that's asking us is to select a language. So I'm gonna leave the default as English and then click on the next button here. And now what we wanna do is use the disk utility. So we're gonna select the disk utility and then click on continue. And we're gonna be selecting our virtual machine and we're gonna select erase. So in here, you can give it any name you want. I'm gonna type in Mac OS Catalina and then we can click on erase. Okay, it's complete. So we're only erasing the virtual drive. We're actually not erasing anything on your computer, but that virtual space that's been assigned to it. So you can, once you complete, you can click on done. And then we can close out of here. And back at this window, we can now select install Mac OS and then click on continue. So now we have the Catalina installation wizard. We can first click on the continue button and then we'll have to select I agree. And then the next agree. We're selecting the drive that we want to install it on. It's the only one available. Click on install. This installation window might take a little bit of time. So what I'm gonna do is skip to the end of this step. And now we're ready to continue the installation wizard. So it's asking for the region that you're from. I'm gonna be using United States here. So I'm gonna select the United States and then you can click on continue. So now it's set as default for preferred languages and import sources. You can just leave that at the way it is and click on continue. I'm gonna be collecting using the ethernet. So I'll leave the default selection selected and then click on continue. And now it's just asking some information about your connection type. You can leave everything as is and just click on continue. Next is data and privacy. If you wanna have more information, you can click on learn more and then click on continue. And we're not moving anything from an existing Mac. So we're just gonna click on continue again. And now we have the terms and conditions and you can just scroll all the way down to the bottom of this. And then you can select, I agree. And then we have the prompt again that we have to select, I agree to. Now we have the name. Now you can put any name that you want in here. And then the password. Once complete, you can click on continue. And we'll be leaving everything as is for the express setup and then click on continue. But if you want to change it, you can click on customize settings. Analytics, we're gonna leave default. Screen time, we'll leave that as is, click on continue. Now you can set your appearance. You can leave it as light, dark, or have it automatically switch depending on the time of day. I'll leave mine as light for now, and then click on continue. These system preferences can be changed at a later time. And here we are at the desktop for Mac OS Catalina. So now that the installation is complete, we can just eject this, which is gonna be our ISO, and it'll disappear, and now we're at the desktop. Okay, so now what we want to do is install the VMware tools and the VMware tools is going to enable full screen as well as a whole bunch of other features. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. What we're going to do is at the top of here at the tab, we're going to right click on it and we're going to select this option right here that says install VMware tools. Okay, and now we're going to be selecting install VMware tools. Double click on that and then we can click on continue, install and continue with installation. And now we have to type in our password. This is the password that we had created at the beginning during the installation. And then you can click on install software and open security preferences. We wanna make sure that it's allowed so click on open for both. And then we want to allow it. So in order to do that, we'll have to type in our password. And then we click on allow and now we can close out of this window. And now it'll continue the installation. Okay, so the installation is now successful. All we have to do is restart. So we can click on the restart button here and it will begin to reboot the virtual machine. Okay, so the system has now rebooted and we can go ahead and log in. So now everything has been loaded back up and we're back at the desktop for Mac OS Catalina. The next thing we can do is just go ahead and full screen it so you get to see the full capabilities of this. And there you have it. We've installed macOS Catalina on a Windows 10 PC using VMware. So my PC is set up at 720p and VMware is trying to stretch it to 1080p. That's why everything is just a little bit off, but you get the idea. We have macOS Catalina installed on VMware Workstation Pro, and that's how you do it from start to finish. So 
If you have any questions, you can go ahead and put them in the comments below. And if you're looking for any files or anything related to doing this installation, I'm gonna put a link to my blog in the description as well, so you can get everything that you need right there. If you have any questions, you can also go to our forum, which is forum.geekwire.com and post any questions there. The community is great and a lot of people are eager to help. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're looking for installations of other operating systems on VMware or VirtualBox or Hyper-V or anything virtual, we're doing it all here on GeekWire Guides. Please subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.